pre-tournament favourites Wasps were first up on Saturday in the quarter-finals of the Premiership Rugby Sevens with Leicester looking to stop them. And it was the Tigers who were quickest out of the blocks at Franklin's Gardens. Ben Velicott's loose pass was picked up by Johnny Law, who glided over for the lead. But Velicott, who moved to the Rico Arena from Gloucester in the summer, soon made amends for his error when he raced over for Wasps' opening try of the match. But Leicester, who were thumped by Wasps in Friday's pool stages, had their eyes on a big upset when Freddie Stewart and then Toby Smith crashed over to give them a 15-7 half-time lead. Wasps, though, were a different side in the second period, and Callum Serka, who scored a hat-trick against Bath on Friday, raced through to reduce the gap. Paolo Adogwu added to his three tries on Friday when he charged round a weary Leicester defence to put Wasps in the lead. Serka added to his burgeoning reputation when he scored his second try of the match to put the game beyond the Tigers, who managed a late consolation through Joe Browning. Full-time, Wasps 26, Leicester 20. Pool C winners Bristol entertained Harlequins with Wasps awaiting the winner in the last four. Bristol struck late to beat the South West Londoners in Friday's pool stage meeting, but they fell behind when Lennox and Yanwu profited from James Borton's kick to put Quinns into a 5-0 lead. Bristol came from behind from losing positions to win both their pool stage matches, and they'd have to do so again here. Right on cue, the Bears were back in it. Classy play from Jack Bates saw the skipper hop through a tackle before displaying impressive pace to go in under the posts. And the Bears soon took the lead, and it was another eye-catching score. A lovely kick through was met by Aaron Chapman, with the southwest side going in at the break with a 14-5 lead. With Quinn's Jack Kenningham in the bin, the Londoners' plight got worse in the second period. Toby Venner, who scored two hat-tricks on Friday, jinked his way through before touching down for his seventh try of the weekend. Quinns were tiring, but they were given a glimmer of hope when Robbie Smith earned himself a yellow card with a spear tackle that could have easily warranted more. Quinns did eventually notch a second try, but Lloyd Wielden's effort was too little too late. Mark Mapletoff's men beaten by the Bears once again. 21-10 to Bristol, who march on to a semi-final with Wasps. Saracens' reward for topping their pool was a quarter-final meeting with London Irish, who progressed in second place from a group containing Exeter and Gloucester. The reigning champions drew first blood when Ratimi Segan accelerated away from the Irish defence in the baking Franklin's Garden sunshine. Adam Powell's young side were in the ascendancy, and they appeared to be coasting towards the semi-finals when Andrew Christie surged down the right wing to touch down for their second score. Saris now had a 10-0 lead. But Irish gave themselves hope before the break when Timmy Olapade and Fenny Sofala combined, giving former England seven-star Sofala a run-in. Irish back in it at 10-7 at half-time. But rather unlike the North Londoners, Sarri switched off straight from the kick-off. Phil Thocken, a singer, gathered a loose ball to score a wonderful individual try. Irish now 14-10 in front and threatening a huge upset. But Sarri's young guns steadied their nerves with impressive captain Tom Whiteley nipping through a gap to touch down. Before Charlie Watson burst through the middle to send Sarri's through to the last four. Irish having their brave resistance broken. Saracens well on track for a third sevens title. Full time at the Gardens, Saracens 24, London Irish 14. Exeter Chiefs took on Worcester Warriors in the fourth quarter final with Saracens awaiting the winners. The Chiefs stormed to two victories on Friday to top Paul D, but the favourites were off the pace early on here. Reese Beddoes scampered clear to add to his glut of tries on Friday. Exeter began to work their way back with some patient possession-based rugby, and Arthur Realton, nicknamed the Grocer, touched down to reduce the gap to 7-5. But with Beddoes in the bin for a high tackle, Exeter roared back, with skipper Max Badilli exploiting a gap to put the Chiefs in the lead. The Warriors, though, were still looking razor-sharp, and Nick David showed searing pace to canter through and give them a 14-12 half-time lead. Yeah. 
Exeter had been one of the more impressive sides up to this point, but Gareth Simpson caught them napping in the second period as he nipped through for a third Warriors try. And number four came soon after. Ollie Wynn took advantage of some tired Chiefs tackling to race clear and put the Warriors on the brink of victory. 14 points adrift with only a few minutes remaining. The Chiefs needed some inspiration and they found it in the form of Badilly, who finished a wonderful individual try to make it a seven-point game. The Warriors were defending heroically, but with the clock in the red, Luke Mason went over to rescue the Devon side, although the conversion was still needed. Sam Morley stepped up to send the ball sailing between the posts, 26 all, with the match going to a golden point period. From then on, Exeter moved through the gears to snatch victory. Badilly found a gap in a tiring Worcester defence before grabbing his second of the game to send the Chiefs into the semi-finals by the skin of their teeth. Full-time Exeter 31, Worcester 26.